Hello, this is Sergio with the Rhino3D.tv team and uh, in this following video I'm going to be showing how to model a cartoon, a simple cartoon figure like the one I'm spinning around here in the screen. Uh, now this one has already been completed and uh, it's already a mesh because uh, this uh, was intended for animation in you know outside of Rhino. So first I'm going to show you how to create the uh, the nurse model and then we'll you know proceed and convert it to a mesh and export it and I'll even show a little bit of how it reacts once it has a skeletal system and it can animate so I'll go to mesh over here and turn that off and I'm going to turn on the body curves and just quickly describe what I've done here uh, so you get an idea uh, as you can see this all started with the circle you know, and then I basically drew the bottom here by hand. Notice how I shaped the, the belly. Notice that this is the front profile. Then I did the back profile. You know, I kind of split the circle and went from there. Uh, same thing with the uh, front view. Like, you know, this one here. Notice that they all start at the center. And they go all the way around, all the way to the bottom. Forming the body profiles. And I mirror this one over to this side and also to help the shape uh, get a little bit more defined and to make sure the head is perfectly rounded I went ahead and put some circles uh, in there connecting to the curves to make sure I get a really nice round head so in this case since I already have them set up all I'm going to do is select these curves and go to my surface the surface network I'm going to click on that now here, uh, depending on the tolerance you pick, you, get a, you can simplify or complicate the surface. And uh, click OK. And there is my uh, starting surface there. And now we can see our nice little surface. Now, uh, now that we have the body, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the arm curves. Notice that the arm curves is just four curves similar to the body. They connect at the end of the arm and the arm is kind of like a teddy bear arm it doesn't really have a hand it's just a nice little shape going out there so now what I'm gonna do with these uh, with these here I'm gonna split the, the the connection onto the body so I'm gonna go ahead and click on split the body enter with this one and that one enter and then I'm going to you know I can delete this here and that curve delete that and the curve there and at this point now I can go ahead and do one more uh, network starting at the bottom back top front and then pick that edge and then hit enter uh, the network's going to show me this exposed edge here. I'm going to click OK. Notice, uh, before I click OK, notice tangency is selected on that edge there. You know, you can choose tangency or you can choose curvature. Let me click preview so we can get an idea of what that's going to look like. Here we're looking at our, it looks very nice. Now let's try curvature and notice how it changed a little bit, got kind of a little bit. Uh, there notice how it changes here curvature you know so uh, I'm gonna leave it tangent click OK and there's the the, the form now uh, at this point I'm going to turn off those uh, there and I'm gonna before notice that there's like a little gap there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure with our uh, surface tools I'm going to go ahead and match this edge to the trimmed edge now I'm going to click enter and in the options here I'm going to want uh, tangency uh, preserve other end mm, not not applicable in this case not we don't uh, there uh, I don't really want to refine it let me click a preview here I'm going to use match by closest points and we're getting a nicer let's try curvature that's uh, too much we'll keep it tangent 
preview there and we click OK and as you can see the gap is gone from there now we can take this now mirror and we got both both uh, hands the uh, arms and now we just have to do the same thing with the legs notice we have the same process so it's basically the same things and there we have our uh, almost almost ready here now notice we have the holes on the bottom of the feet uh, those I'm just going to use a quick uh, patch command here for surface pick that edge enter and notice we have a uh, tangency automatic trim uh, six and six use pans preview there we go nice little tangent patch right there and I'll follow it up on the other side there and then the last thing we need to do is the because this is a it's a little rhino guy so he has his little horn over here in the forehead so that one's easy we just select network and we click OK and there's a little horn we can flip that to the so here's our little figure ready to uh, be meshed okay so now continuing our project here uh, now we have I went ahead and joined uh, the whole uh, tune together except for the, the horn up here on the, on the head uh, I wanted to uh, keep that separate in case we want to hide it and make a different character later so right now I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything here go to mesh from NURBS object and I'm going to choose my options over here uh, notice that I zeroed the density so I want to use the controls down here to make my mesh and I can I can preview uh, these results over here now we don't want a very coarse mesh but we also don't want something too thin too too low poly because we do want to animate this and make it smooth and everything so you can choose your options over here uh, notice that I'm the minimum uh, edge length is 0.4 and the maximum edge length is 0.8 you know and my minimum initial grid quads is 600 over here so I can I can work with these numbers and make it more high poly or less poly uh, but in this case it's you know it's it'll be all right it'll be okay with these settings already and uh, I'm going to click OK and now I'm gonna hide the nerves and here is our mesh now I'm going to uh, get this ready for exporting so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here like on the floor I am going to scale it 3 dimensionally from 0 and from over his head over here I'm gonna make him tiny because the animation package we're going to use is very small units so he's about half a millimeter tall and I am also going to rotate him so that the Z axis is on laying on the floor and at this point I can take our little character here go to file export selected and I'm going to save it as a way from object and give it a name and click save and then the polygon export options will open up 
And here we're looking obviously for a polygon mesh. Uh, it's obviously going to be polylines. Uh, it's, I'm working in Windows, so this is going to be a Windows, you know, uh, file. In this case, I do not have any object groups, so this is really not important, but you can leave it. It will name every different object a different name, and it's easier to separate later if you want to, so I'll leave that like that. We're probably going to have the full body and that little horn separate. And over here, we want to, uh, at this point, none of this is significant. We haven't done any mapping or anything, you know. So uh, right now, we can just click OK. And we have just uh, exported the model uh, as a mesh ready for, you know, animating. OK, and to finalize uh, this uh, video here. Uh, here is our little mesh uh, already loaded and into our animation program and I've already used uh, this uh, this is Poser and I have used already the grouping uh, setup over here to group the body parts and apply a skeleton to this model. You know so right now uh, if we go, we can actually, if we go, for example, to this setup, you can there see the skeleton, you know, all the bones that have been assigned to this figure. Go back to the posing room. There we go. And now I can just begin to uh, play around with the body parts and I can move, you know, Let me move the camera around. There we go. And I can move this guy and do whatever. Move his little leg back and and I can go ahead and do whatever, you know, mo you know, pose. Having, you know, you know, and then you can do whatever you can have them do a little walk cycle, you can have them walk, you can have them wave, and do whatever it is you want your little cartoon character to do.